When it rains, there are no long lines, so you pretty much have the park to yourself. But yesterday whew, was a different story. But I live right down here, and there's people parked all over. They were parked in our uh, residential street. They were parked across at our lakefront property. They were parked along in Dairy Mart and a lot of the other stores. You do see increased traffic on the weekend, but I'd say yesterday was um, more, more of what we've, different than what we typically have. The new Six Flags is just 21 days old, but even with its history of being Giaga Lake, residents can't recall this place being crowded like it was yesterday, even though folks here at the park say it was a rare occurrence. They're prepared just in case it happens again. We do have property, our hotel and our campground, and we're looking into possibly parking cars there if need be, if this does ever happen again, and shuttling the guests back to our park. Also this year, we added another 1,500 parking spaces to our parking lot. They're included in our overflow parking lot. So if you lived near the park long enough, you become seasoned enough to know when to come and go. From about 10 in the morning to about 2 in the afternoon, it's non-stop cars. And by 5 in the afternoon, they pick up, you just, you know, plan around it. <laughs>